I'll try, man. I'm a little tired still. <laughs> Bro, just I'm here. <laughs> I'm doing it, man. <laughs> I'm so I can't. <laughs> All right, do I? Is it going? Yeah. All right, cool. What's up, you guys, this is Zach with Veteran Construction, also known as Zach of All Trades. Today, I haven't made it. I haven't made a video in quite some time, but we're gonna just show you how we go about this. We got a two-layer, 20-square roof today. Um, you know, I'm short two guys. One's on a honeymoon, and the other one's just being a piece of shit. So we're just going to tear this off today. That's the goal. You know, get out of here about 4 o'clock because we got to load shingles. I got the delivery coming about 3 o'clock. So we'll get this door off, dried in, shingles loaded. And we'll just come and bang it on tomorrow. You know, we'll probably be out of here about 1 o'clock or whatever. And we got some other loose ends we can tie up too. So, um, you know, typically roof like this, we'll just knock it out in two days. Unless this is one layer, we might, we might haul some ass and try to get it done in one. But uh, because it's two layer, we're going to just take it easy, have a nice easy two days. So when we're doing this cap, come down here, uh, Sancho. We got another guy with a nickname too. Sancho, he's the new guy. He's probably gonna make it. We'll see though. <laughs> it's to be determined. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> no cussing either. Only I'm Oops. allowed to cuss occasionally. All right. Uh, all right. Thank you. All right. So, <laughs> so we want to go under just one, just one tab underneath the cap. And I usually use this flat bar here, um, or flat tear off bar, I should say. Just because the one that he's using ain't gonna get in as much, it's gonna cause him some trouble. You'll see him struggle. And then uh, the pitchforks obviously don't work as well because they're not gonna get the nails. Look at this cap, it makes a lot of nails if you get through here. You got cheese it's fuck yeah. <laughs> what the hell? Dude, Dude. Like John, John's got that sweet tooth. Dude, those are the extra toasty ones. Yeah, are those are literally. Oh, those are gonna taste like shit. Those are the on, ones you need in your life at all times. A little bit of that stuff a lot of the time. <laughs> not bad. Guy a cotton mouth. Well, guys, just smoking out some mids. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, no cotton mouth. You're fucking breathing. <laughs> Damn. Extra dry. <laughs> More like it. Oh yeah. By the way, we got tarp set up everywhere already. Not on the sides, nothing really falls off on the sides too much, but uh, definitely across the front. Yeah, so you typically want to start from, oh, that wasn't cool, the furthest part, which is probably going to be here, and we're going to try to get under both of them. So this layer is probably just going to come up real easy. If you can just peel the first layer by hand usually, if you want. And expect crumbles when you got a two layer. You're gonna have a bunch of crumbles, so um, we need our garbage can for it. So I'll have that here. I'll have that up here in a minute. But. This might be pretty buttery though. Especially if you got two tear off bars, let me try double, dual wield. This one looks like it's coming up easier, so you gotta be an opportunist. We gotta find out if this is gonna work. Never has it ever really worked on any other job.
Say hi, Sancho. Hey, give me that thing. <laughs> I would be wearing gloves, but why aren't I Sancho? Because I put them back on your seat. So your you truck's a mess. I've never seen them. I don't know, man. <laughs> Ow! Ow! I wish I had some gloves. Well, so obviously, the double nail puller is as unsustainable as my fucking one square challenge test. So we're not going to do that. We're just going to work next to each other. Hey, good boy. You can have that. <laughs> All right, so we are getting misted. And I went to go drive and get some plywood just because the trailer's out of it. And I just got back from vacation. So I needed to stock up. And I was getting poured on about a mile away. But all the radars and everything says we're clear. But it also said where I was getting dumped on is clear. So there was like an inch of water on the ground. So we're not going to chance it. I'm kind of like a go for the gusto type. And uh, I'm not. yeah, I know J James or John is in and neither are some of these guys. But, you know, sometimes you got to put yourself in the homeowner's shoes, you know, and uh, you got to think of worst case scenario occasionally, which is. Do I want to come out of pocket with an insurance claim? Or, or or make an insurance claim, I should say. No. I don't want an insurance claim on an already expensive policy. So skip that. We're just going to wrap it up. We're going to do something a little different with that. What, do you, what you got going on there, John? To do the uh, ice and water shield trick around there or something. But yeah, all this is just getting tacked. We're going to put some cap nails in it and wrap it up. So... There's just very few tacks in this. You hear it. Listen to it. Oh. You know what I mean? I think we made a good move. I think we made a good move. Shit came out of nowhere. It's like a statewide storm now. Yeah, it's coming down a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take a lunch. You know, we're not even supposed to be getting rain. So we'll just take an early lunch and see what's happening. And back to what we go. Because there's nothing worse than when you, when you take a rain day and then you, you're driving around and it's like noon and sunshine. And then... All your guys are drunk already, and, huh. and there's other roofers doing roofs. It makes you feel like shit. Okay, bye. All right, we are back. Me and John are here, but everybody else is missing. One guy pretending that he's on a honeymoon, and he's taking a side job. Um, during the weekday, he could have just told me about it. No, it's a lie. Uh, two other guys, three other guys ain't showed up yet. One of them lives a mile away. The other two live 15 minutes away. It's 8.30 now. So we're going to get on them as soon as I get here. We're going to show you what it's like when you show up late here at Veteran Construction. Whoa, hey, look. Oh, Banker's hours. Oh, boy, finally showed up. Oh, and Derek, too. Oh, my God. Can you guys help me with my checking account? I think I got an overdraft. Can you wave that? Well, fuckers. Hold on. Why don't you get back down and go lay some tarps so I can, so we can tear off this bottom here. And while you're at it, make sure my pin number's okay. What's the fucking pin number? <laughs> what? Fucking banker hour ass. Dude, you're fucking it's going on 9 a.m., you piece of shit. I know. All right. I the know. fuck? Santo, what do you got to say? I don't feel good. Dude, you look like ass. Sorry. You got the Rona? Don't know. Well, come over here. I'm gonna have to take a temperature with my lips. Let's go. Uh, good God, I would not touch those. <laughs> those are fucking rancid. Uh, only because I went out with that girl, huh? Oh, did you? Oh, yeah, I did. <laughs> she wasn't that bad, man. She oh, didn't look man. like her pictures she for sure, but. Right, dude. <laughs> what is a 
Those aren't tarps, you dumb fuck. Yeah, <laughs> it's know, fucking I'm felt paper, right. man. Go over there. I'm coming up. No, go down so we can tear off the bottom. You too, fucking bear cub. Hello? We're gonna, don't worry, we're gonna pile that up nice and good for you. Where's Bennett? Ben's on his way. Hey, look, everybody, the second shift showed up. We're saved. Thank you, Benjamin, for coming and saving us. Your freaking baker's hours, man. Can you hook me up with a high interest savings account? Yeah, actually. Well, thanks for playing along. These fuckers are pieces of shit. Dude. You. He's playing along what? He's playing along with the banker thing, dude. You just made it gay. Thanks, Ben. Yeah. I mean, you're an asshole for showing up late, so fuck you, but thanks for playing along. I don't know why I've been sleeping so much lately. Because you're depressed, aren't you? Yeah, that might be it, yeah. Are you on your bipolar meds? or? Yeah, I am. Okay. So everything's working good? Yeah, I just still cycle sometimes. It's just not as bad as if I was off them. <laughs> Sorry, I just can't help start laughing at your mental dis disorders. It's all good. <laughs> I laugh at myself naturally as we go. It's just coming up so good. And I'll show you guys later that we don't have to change the wood because these nails are actually sticking. These other nails, they don't have any barbs in them or anything like the coil that I do. But our shingles will be just fine. One plug pull out. Gotta watch out for the plywood seams. Don't tear them up. So we're double pitchforking now, you know, it kind of, when I came over the side, it was much softer than the other side. The other side is pretty crispy, so the nail pullers were working a little better. This is still getting all the nails up though. This is the greatest <laughs> two layer I've ever been on, ever. Period. I'm not going to do something with it. <laughs> it's a little Get too it going. Big. I like them real big too. Come on. Dude, yeah, that's yeah, that's strike one before you get fired today. <laughs> another one, another outburst like that, and you're gone. <laughs> <laughs> We're almost done. We can do it without you. Yeah. Just 
keep going. No keep going. So I had John filming, otherwise this would have went a little better. A little cleaner as we go. But you see how quick that came off? It's only, what, I see about three nails left. So, it's not too bad. Okay, buddy. So, Ben, you're going to tear off and show these boys how to carry. Mm -hmm. Oh, ass is Sancho over there. <laughs> no, he don't feel good. Leave him alone. And he's just getting beat up by the by the pile. You haven't done this, have you? Go ahead. Don't get that blood yet. Come on. Alright, we're gonna need to switch the boy cup yeah. off. He's never done this before. Nope. Boy cup switch. Go up there and try to tear off her same show. Alright. Come on, this one eight dollars an hour looks like, boys. Let's go. <sighs> Me and Boy Cup are getting ready to bang. <laughs> oh, God. Someone told me on YouTube. They said you have a shingle lingo of your own. <laughs> I straight up do. We're getting ready to start pounding though. Take it to Pound Town. All right. Fucking D-Rock. <laughs> Sancho.